okay lots of people have videos about how to do this so I don't exactly know why I'm making it but just maybe because if you're already on my YouTube and you wanted to know how to do this okay this is how you make sub columns so annoying thing about notion you make a column um, and you make another yeah you make columns and then you try and put columns inside of it and it won't work because blah 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 I want to add this column nope can't do it I have to make it as a third column here which I don't want to do same thing for um, toggles or any kind of blocks so if I wanted there to be um, columns inside here, I couldn't do it as well. I'd have to make it a column next to the actual, just all of it, which is very annoying. And if this were also just text as well, same thing. Um, you can't make, basically you can't make a column inside of a block. These are all called blocks. But here's what you can do. So, la di da. Um, there's a trick. You have to make a page inside of the block. So let's turn this into um, a page. You can easily turn something into a page by pressing Command Option 9. And then you click on it. And then you make a column in here. Um, and you, may, yeah, make the column. And then you go back. Another quick shortcut is you can press Command Shift over here and U, and it will take you back to the like parent page of whatever page you're on. And then you want to turn this into text. And now you have columns inside of your columns and you can delete this text up here and they will maintain and yeah, that's how you do that. So if I do three dashes, it will turn that into a little line. So it's nice and fancy. And then I could even, let's see if this does anything. No, okay. Cool, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. I remember that there is something that I do. Um, so you'll notice over here I have this something called Easy Templates button, unzip buttons. And I wanted basically it to be easier to make columns than it was, um, or at least just like a second faster. And so I made a template button and I thought maybe I would add other template buttons, but I didn't find need for any other ones. So I made this template button called Add Columns. And what I do then is whenever I need to add like a bunch of sub columns in places is I just copy and paste this. I go back to wherever I just was um, and I will then add the button here and then I'll click it. And now I have the, t the columns. And so it's really easily accessible because, um, ah, go under. It's really easily accessible because it's just right here and it's the only thing in there and um, I can then kind of add it everywhere. Um, the way that I made it, so we'll notice I, so I made a page, I made a template button which you just go backslash template, new template button. Um, and then inside of it, I you also can't make columns inside of, um, inside of template buttons so you have to do the same thing. So I, I made a page, so I turned this into a page. I clicked into that, I then made um, two columns, um, and then I went back, and then I, in this empty button, I turned that, so I just highlighted it, turned it into text, and then deleted the top text, and now you'll notice, it's kind of, yeah, so I, I also added dots just to kind of, I guess, visually show it, but you can also just kind of keep it like this, and it will still have the columns. And then you can use that. And so that's how you make it. And then you can, anytime that you need to add a bunch of sub columns, you just go in, copy and paste this wherever you're doing it, and then just make all those delicious sub columns.